Hallelujah. Holy be you. Holy, holy. We plead the church with the peace of the Lord. And we invite all those who could at this time to stand up. We're going to be reading in Psalms 84. Salmos 84 <coughs> The Lord tonight wants to renew our strength He knows the way that me and you enter the door And He wants to renew our strength um, Psalms 84 verse 5 it says, Blessed is the man whose strength it is in you, whose heart is sad, pilgrimage, as they pass through the valley of Baca. They make it spring. The rain also covers the pools. They go from strength to strength. Each one of them appears before God in Sion. Holy, holy be your name. We thank you, Lord, for this happiness. This we thank you, Lord, because you have made our lives happier. Now your word speaks to our heart that everything that could have that we are going to be saying it is by your Holy Spirit. We thank you in the name of Jesus. Amen. The brothers may be seated. <coughs> uh, the language that the person who wrote Psalms used to write to write the Book of Psalms, this Book of Songs, it shows a a moment of struggles that they were going through. You can see. For us, we can see tonight the difficult situation that the person was going through. What calls our attention it is that the person who wrote the Psalms was the sons of Korah. It was a man, there were men who had a really bad influence inside of their houses. Their parents was profane, but they were men that accepted in their hearts to follow the Lord, to be faithful to the Lord. And the Lord revealed tonight here that there is a woman that she's present here, and she didn't have good examples inside of her house. But the Lord tonight brought you here. Jesus brought you to this place so you can put in your heart to follow the Lord, be faithful to the Lord. It says the word of the Lord that no one comes to Jesus if the Lord didn't want you to hear. So if you're here tonight, it is because Jesus brought you. The psalmist, he writes, the Good is the man, blessed is the man who has his strength on you. As they pass through the valley of Baca, they make it spring. And that calls our attention, my brothers. Because he makes sure to describe the name of this valley, the valley of Baca. And we can understand, we're going to understand a little what that means the life of the servant the valley of Baca was also known the valley of the bomb it was a fruit from that region and that fruit 
it's a type of vegetation and it was really easy for the vegetation to grow and one thing that would call our attention in the plant it is it's more that the sun as much more as the sun would heat the plant the plant would grow more and more the plant would involve more and more grow more and more and that plant has a lot to do with my life and your life and in this valley at this desert just like the one that we are going through as much the the, the warmness of their strength and as much more that the struggle comes we grow spiritually we got closer to the Lord um, there's there's a say in Brazil that says what doesn't kill you makes you stronger and there's struggles that we go through and we think oh this there's no way I'm gonna go through it and forward you see that you're stronger than that because God is a strength because God is the one that sustains you so when the traveler when the pilgrim was going through the valley of Baca and he saw the, the vegetation said oh it isn't that valley and he was also known for the gifts the valley of Baca was the last stop so they could go up to Jerusalem the traveler he he left from all parts from all the cities and his only object objectives was to get inside of Jerusalem because in Jerusalem was the place of the feast it was the place of adoration so everyone has as a objective to go to Jerusalem But when those travelers, those pilgrims, would go through the valley of Baca, the last stop, they were already really tired. Some, they were already hurt. Others, they had going through so many hunts. They were so hurt that the Valley of Baca was also known as Valley uh, the, Cry, the Cry Valley because most of the people that when they got in that place they were already so tired they would start crying those people there they would start crying it was a cry of sadness with happiness with it because they knew that they had been going through so many things and but they were so close to Jerusalem that they would start crying and that valley was known uh, it was known as the valley of the cries of those who cry the valley of Baca the traveler he will get strength to go forward because he could find a water and a spring the water and the rock if you're tired my brother are you tired Well, I'm tired too. But Jesus is here. You're here to renew your strength. Today is the day of victory. The day of happiness. They could find water in the rocks. But there was one that went first on that valley. So that the traveler could go and drink that water. There was one that went and that valley and left all the holes made he left he left there with his love he didn't go back he didn't think on his own benefits he thought about my life and your life Jesus Jesus he passed by that place first and he didn't take it back 
he didn't stop. He went all the way, all the way to the end, just to tell you that you cannot stop. There is renew here tonight, my brothers. If this is not love, what else could it be? Love. If this is not love, well, you love Lord, but this is love. So you can glorify. You can thank the Lord. traveler was going through the valley and he would start to think it's just like us here tonight we're almost over with another year this is one of the last one this is one of the last months of the year and the traveler would think oh I've gotten to here I'm so tired but now I cannot give up anymore. I need to find strength to walk. For sure, his feet, their body, had no more strength to go up, to go forward. But their eyes could already see Jerusalem. The word of the Lord says. That every single one of them, they would have presented themselves in front of the Lord. My brothers, we are going, we are walking to this day. We are any in the valley. We cannot deny that. But we are going and we are walking to Jerusalem. And after the valley of Baca, there is no other valleys. The, the Valley of Baca, it is the last stop for the life of a traveler. After the Valley of Baca, it is when you go up, every single, every single one of them, they would have present themselves in front of the Lord. This day, my brothers, it's going to be the day it's gonna be the day that me and you we're gonna we're gonna say it was worth it it was worth it to to feel and hold everything it was worth it to suffer everything and stay and have faith it was worth it everything I, I went through and it still served the Lord because at this day Because at this day, the man in white, he's gonna judge us. He's gonna, he's gonna look at us with that look, the look of fire. He's gonna look at my life and your life. And he's gonna say, enter. Enter because my, my place is your place. Just like the rock. He's gonna use another name. You never fight again. No more sadness. No more, no more tiredness, no more sickness, forevermore, only glory, only glorifications, holy, holy be your name.
I invite the brothers to stand up at this time and have a word of glorification to the Lord. O Lord, we glorify your name because we are a people and the Lord. We thank you, Lord, because we have you as our, uh, as our Savior. What will be us? What will us be if we didn't have your hand on top of us? We thank you, Lord, because we're happy. We thank you, Lord, for such love, for salvation. We thank you, love, for this happiness, because we can feel your Holy Spirit, Lord. Thank you, Lord. We thank you. We are happy because we can feel your your Holy Spirit touching us. We thank you, your holy name. We thank you for everything. In the name of Jesus, amen. Amen. Holy, holy be the name of the Lord. Uh, the Lord shown that during the service, uh, the Lord... The Lord was given to this woman the the freedom of a object that she used to have it when she was a kid, and living with this object brought her um, a fearness. Maybe what happened with this object or something. It is not related to the word of the Lord, but the Lord gave her freedom from that. The blood of Jesus set us free from everything. Right? There is no um, other thing. Only the blood of Jesus that can purify us and free us from any action from the enemy and tonight the Lord is giving you the freedom so you can forget about this it was something that you lived through and have all this time coming after you and this doesn't come from the Lord so at the service God is giving you this understanding set it free Go for a new life. The blood of Jesus have the power to put us in the right way. So there is no no other thing that could. It's still our blessing. You already got a great victory. Amen. Let's pray. Finishing the service. Right after the service, if you want assistance. A prayer, individual prayer. We are gonna, we are here, and reminding you everyone that tomorrow at 9:30 we have our Sunday school. 9:30 Sunday school, and we've been learning a lot. We've been studying the book of Revelations, and it's been, it's been great for the church. You know, the church have been seeing our understanding about the doctrine and it's getting special as more that we know the doctrine we stick more to the Lord Amen oh Lord we want to thank you at this time we want to put in your altar our lives the service and ask the Lord that, that, could, that you could receive our prayer our songs of adoration to the things that you have done. We are grateful for all the miracles that you have done in our favor. This is what we offer you, Lord. Nothing more to offer you besides our adoration, our heart, and your presence. Seek us in peace. Give us a night of rest. And one day tomorrow with plenty of blessings and experiences that we could Lord leave this place and tell people about you Lord we thank you we also ask for a blessing for your
for your servants that are coming back from Port St. Lucie. Give them a blessings. Send your angels so you can send them in peace. And in your name we say the Holy Grace of our Savior Jesus Christ, the love of our eternal Father, the sweet and eternal consolations of the Holy Spirit could be upon us now and forever. Amen. The Rose may be seated. Reminding everyone that our seminar is uh, December 9. We want all the brothers to be watching the day, the time, and because the, um, so you so everyone could sign up. It's gonna be a day of many blessings. The Lord has been shown that we're gonna leave that place with many blessings. Peace the Lord to everyone. Service with Group A.